Hey everyone, JCFFL Consultants. We're here with Mike Brown from Kutak Rock uh, for another session of Compliance Corner. So Mike, a big topic, a head scratcher for everybody involved. I think uh, even ATF it might even be scratching their head a little bit on this one. CBD oil. It sure is, JC. Uh, with the passing of the Farm Bill last year, in 2018, the hemp products were excluded from the definition of controlled substances. That means that they're legal in the eyes of the federal system. Well, you have to look a little deeper and figure out how are they defining hemp products. Hemp products contain less than 0.3% THC by weight and come from the cannabis sativa L form of the cannabis plant. I think, in my interpretation, you need to be able to identify and prove both parts of that definition in order to have absolute certainty that the product that you're taking falls outside the, the Controlled Substances Act. Right, and you know, it's not like, uh, well, in certain states it is actually, um, that have, you know, still are on the border of whether or not they're gonna legalize, whether medical or otherwise. And there are even states, I believe Nebraska is actually on the fence whether or not CBD is legal or not, correct? I think at this point, uh, most states have, have come down on the side of legalizing CBD, but I think there's a lot more regulation yet to come um, it, targeting the growers or the processors, the extraction facilities, because there's still a lot of unknowns in an industry that, that's largely unregulated. So there are some companies out there that are um, trying to self-regulate and doing a better job, in my opinion, than others. You want to make sure if you're going to take one of these products that, that you're, you're getting a certificate of analysis and you know what is in that bottle that you're going to ultimately put in your body. And hopefully, um, if, if things come, come down to it, that's going to help you having that documentation um, make the difference between uh, whether you're, you're considered a, a felon in possession of a firearm or not. Okay, so let's ask this, okay, uh, a, lot of, a lot of questions come into FFLs from purchasers or people interested in firearms and they're concerned about their use of CBD. What, what advice do we need to give the FFL regarding this? Well, to be absolutely crystal clear that the use of CBD does not render a particular customer a prohibited person, you would need to have some evidence that the product that they're taking came from the hemp version of the plant and contains not more than 0.3% THC by weight. Right, and then we have the other piece of it, you know, the FFL who's concerned about actually utilizing CBD for their health or, or whatever the case may be, so they need to be careful as well. Absolutely, you've got licensure concerns. Um, and like I said, the only way to be absolutely certain is to prove the origin uh, plant material and the, the THC concentration. Um, otherwise, you just don't know. Right. So in other words, protect yourself, be wary, understand what's going on, and when in doubt, you know, pick up the phone, reach out to Kutak Rock, uh, visit them on their website, kutakrock.com, or you can certainly reach out to FFL Consultants, myself or JB, and we can help you through this process. But I think in the end, I think you just need to take a very cautionary approach to this until we actually get some final kind of rulings around this. And I know uh, the FDA is supposed to actually uh, be producing some regulations around it. So everybody's just kind of in this kind of uh, gray area around this. So you need to be really careful out there on the CBD issue. And I I think uh, we're definitely going to continue to receive questions on this and certainly try to figure this out uh, over the course of time, probably the next year or so at least. Um, yeah, I think something's going to come and it's going to come soon. Yeah, well, that's, that's good news because I know there's a lot of confusion out there. So, hey, this is JC with FFL Consultants. Click the link below, share, follow us, like us on Facebook. Hey, stay tuned for another session of Compliance Corner. Hey, 